What's up guys, gals and minions, it is me Noir Proxy, and as you can see here, doing a quick little channel update, just talking about what's been going on this week, and why there's been a bit of a delay in the videos. So, the Facebook minions know that I went away on um, Sunday, and I had like a little bit of a night stay in London, went segwaying on Monday, it was so cool. I don't know if any means I've ever done segwaying before, it's basically like a two-wheeled scooter. Is it a scooter? I wouldn't really class it as a scooter, it's like two wheels on the side of each other, and you stand in the middle, it's kind of like that film Mall Cop, and you go on one of those, and it's like motorised, it's really awesome, we ended up doing that, it was really, really cool. Got some pictures taken, stuff like that. It was really, really awesome. And um, we ended up doing that, and that was kind of what I was doing on Sunday and Monday. But generally, I don't do videos on a Sunday. I generally just like, that's my kind of my like, day off, or something, I guess you could say. But um, what I was going to do was uh, on the Monday, I was going to come back and start doing videos again. But a little weird thing happened in my life. And was, this is kind of the reason why I haven't been doing the videos this week. But I'm going to go back into it now. Today, I feel a lot better, and so I'm going to be doing videos from now on. It's going to be really, really good. But um, what you may you may notice that the um, Proxy Pyramid's channel has like a rabbit logo, it's kind of like a skull bunny. It's got like the bunny ears and so that's because I am massively into rabbits. I've had uh, pet rabbits for like 10 years now But sadly my last rabbit passed away on Monday just before I was going segwaying So I was kind of like down in the dumps like for the entire week and stuff like that And that's just kind of like the reason why why the channel's just kind of like fallen asleep this week And it's I, I really want to apologize for that. I, I didn't really give anybody notice. It's kind of because I was like um I was just really down. I didn't really want to talk to anybody about stuff. It seems really cheesy. I'm really, really sorry if it seems really cheesy to lots of people. But um, I was really close to these this rabbit, and um, I was really close to the rabbit before as well. And I'm gonna, I just wanted to talk about it and stuff, and talk about my pets, and um, it, maybe it'll relate to you if you've ever lost any pets and stuff like that. So basically, um, about ten years ago, I ended up getting a bunny rabbit on Easter. I got my own very own Easter bunny. It was really awesome, and it was I called it Moogle because it was white. I'm gonna put some pictures up for each rabbit and stuff like that. I'm talking about, and um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a cold as well. <coughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And so, um, I got this rabbit, um, on Easter when I was, I think it was, like, my first year of college, and it was so cool. I'd never had a rabbit before. I've had pets before in the past, like, I had hamsters and turtles and stuff, but when you're younger, you never have that kind of, like, sense of responsibility, do you know what I mean? And so, like, when you're older, you get, like, a pet, and you, you just really, like, it's another living thing, and just, you you know that it's your responsibility to look after this other living creature. It's, it's so amazing, and it's, like, it helps you as a person grow up, I think, if you have, like, a pet. And so, um... I had this uh, this um, bunny, and I called it Moogle, which is obviously based off the um, the Moogles in Final Fantasy. The rabbit was kind of like when it was a baby, it had like champagne um, kind of like fur, so it's like a champagne white fur. And then when it got older, it started to get like um, like pure pearl white. It was really really cool. And um, oh my goodness, I, I fell in love with this rabbit because it was just um, I, I just had this before I had a rabbit. I had like this massive fascination with rabbits. I thought they were really cool. I used to draw them all the time and stuff like that because obviously you know I'm an artist and stuff like that. So I liked I like to draw things, but I had this fear about drawing cartoon bunnies. And so I got when I got my very own bunny um, on Easter. Oh, I was just, it was just amazing. I remember like um, spending every day with it. I just would not let this bunny go out of my sights. I ended up teaching it all these different things. Like you know, like if you got a dog and like you'd go fetch and it would go after like a ball or something. I was able to teach this rabbit to um. <laughs> Sounds really cheesy. I ended up um. What I'd do is after I've groomed it and stuff like and cleaned it and brushed it, got all of its like molted hair and stuff out. I'd I would give it a treat. I would say kiss and I'd put my nose next to like near its face and it'd go boop and like um and like just like nuzzle its um. Nose against mine. It was so cute, and it would do it every single time, and it took me ages, and what I'd have to do is I'd have to, like, um, say it, like, press my nose against it, so then give it, like, a little one of these little, um, button treats. And it ended up just, like, figuring it out in the end. It was really cool. It took me about, like, three months to do it, but I was so proud, and, um, this rabbit just, um, would follow me around everywhere. It was kind of like having, like, my own dog, but a bunny rabbit had, like, a lead for it and stuff, <laughs> and it would go for walks around the corner. And even though, like, rabbits can get very tired, I think, like, domestic ones, so you can only take them a short distance. But, um, I used to do that, and it was it was really funny because the people around where I live would be like, what the fudge is that thing? That's not a dog. If it is, it's got gigantic ears and it's really fluffy and small. Then where's its tail? <laughs> and so had this rabbit, and so uh, about um, f about four years later, we ended up looking after somebody else's rabbit, and it ended up getting pregnant. They ended up, obviously, if you, we didn't really realise that this other rabbit was a male. We thought it might have been a female, because it kind of looked like a female, and so, I don't know how you can, like, tell the difference, really, but we had this, like, thing. We just we just assumed it was another female, and they, they got along, uh, like, get along, along all brilliantly and stuff like that, but they ended up, like, um, what would you say? Doing the sex, <laughs> as you would say. I ended up coming out one day and just seeing this brown rabbit humping my moogle, and I was, like, really, really 
annoyed and so um, but anyway, anyway obviously Moogle got um pregnant and stuff like that she ended up having how many children did she have one two three she ended up having four babies and um <laughs> I ended up giving what we ended up doing was and um, there's a family across the road from me and I ended up wanting to um give them because they couldn't have children so I thought you know what would be even nicer to give them um something to like kind of perk them up a bit by giving them two of my rabbits these little baby rabbits and so I gave them two of my baby rabbits so we've got my hutch and stuff like that and then they looked after them and um it was brilliant we also had um another one called spot which I looked after these baby rabbits first before I gave them all away because obviously you don't want to give them away too young because you want them to be like connected to their mum first and then you want to pass them on when they're a bit older and so um <coughs> Sorry, my my coughing is getting a little bit crazy. Um, I've got a cold, and so it's really bad weather here. And so I wonder what I ended up doing was I ended up um, giving these two rabbits away. It was it was it, I thought it was a really nice gesture and stuff like that in, in my mind. And I, I think they really liked it as well. They really appreciate it. But we had like another baby one when I was looking after it when I was like making the helping these rabbits grow up. And it was called Spot because it was born with a tumor on its head. It was really really sad because I remember um, this is gonna get really depressing now. I ended up taking it um, into the vet because what was happening was Moogle was rejecting the, um, the little baby rabbit. It looked like a little sausage you could put in your hand. And it was like it was like the size of like the width of your like hand horizontally. It was really, really small, and um, it, Moogle wouldn't like feed it because there's this thing where um, it's just like to do with nature or something where rabbits will kind of like if they sense weakness or notice a weakness in one of their litter, they'll reject it and they'll kick it away. They won't feed it and stuff like that, and they'll focus on the on the um, the litter that is um, like strong and you know got potential to live. And so I always used to like try and get Moogle to feed her this little baby, and she would just keep rejecting it. It was really, really annoying, and I couldn't blame Moogle for it because that's what the, like animals are like and stuff. You know, they they don't like really understand these kind of things like we do where if it's a baby you must look after a baby as much as possible but they don't know that kind of stuff but anyway so she must have sensed this weakness that she had this gigantic tumorous cancerous spot on her head so I took it to the vet and um, oh, it was really sad I remember being really upset when I took it down I was holding it in my hand and they said that it's, it's gonna die in like a few weeks possibly and stuff like that there's nothing really you can do with it so we should probably like um, put it to sleep and stuff I remember handing <laughs> <laughs> I remember like having this little like sausage rabbit in like my hand and I ended up like handing it over to this vet and just before um, I did that she yawned um, and it was I just remember like oh my goodness I remember just getting really upset because it was basically like sending something to die but not like intentionally. It was just something that they, they said it would be easier for it because it's supposedly it was going to be in a lot of pain and stuff. But we obviously can't see that in these little baby rabbits. But because they're like, they look like they're asleep. They haven't got like their eyes stuff yet. They haven't developed for, properly and stuff. But um, supposedly it was, um, they said that it, that kind of like experience was in a very lot of pain. But it, it yawned and stuff like that. And I, just, I was like, oh my goodness. And I remember just walking home, just being completely like crushed and destroyed and upset. And it was, it was really, really bad. I remember taking it down like a little blanket and I had it covered up. So you can picture this tiny little sausage like wrapped up in a blanket. It was, it was so sad and um, <laughs> and so I ended up um, later on I ended up giving away two of the other rabbits to this couple across the road because obviously as I said they couldn't have children and so they ended up looking after these rabbits and I kept one of them for myself which was a little chocolate one which was called Moglet and so which was supposed to be like Moogle Jr so it had like um, <laughs> it was also chocolate so obviously like Mog and then Lutz so it's like um, Moogle chocolate <laughs> it sounds really weird I'm sorry and so um, I ended up keeping these two rabbits and um, when I went to university I think it was like on the second or third year um, Moogle ended up getting ill and she ended up getting um what would you say? She ended up getting like a, a tumor in her stomach, and I ended up getting the phone call when I was. Um, this is really depressing story. I'm sorry. It's just I've been wanting to let this, let this get out of me and stuff like that because I've been thinking about it like over the couple of days this week, and it's just been really bugging me. And so I just wanted to update you on what's been what what happened in my life and what these rabbits mean to me and stuff like that, and how it's really annoying and sad that um, I've lost that kind of responsibility in my life. So um, yeah, so Moogle had this like tumor in her stomach, and basically what was happening was she was just lying there and she wouldn't. She was she looked fine, but her stomach was like really. Sweet and supposedly she was really in pain too and I ended up getting the phone call for my parents to say because they were looking after it um, and when during like university I'd go back every weekend because I always had to f focus on my studies and stuff but on the weekends I'd go back I'd take like the hour and a half journey to go um, like look after her like spend time with her and stuff because I was I was so connected to this first rabbit and stuff like that and um, they ended, I ended up getting the phone call and saying she's just in a lot of pain and the vet says that we should probably let her pass and stuff like that and so they put her down as well and I remember just being on the phone and just been like oh my it was if you can picture I was I, this rabbit was about um, how old was it? It was about seven years. Yeah, it would have been like the end of uh, university. So it was. It was right at the end of university. And um, oh my god, it must have been about seven years old then. Oh, and I just remember this being completely destroyed. And. Um, 
I didn't, I, think I, ended, I ended up like spending like two to three weeks just not doing anything at university. I just like, stayed in bed. Because if you can think about that, seven years I've been like, that like emotionally attached to this little creature. This little fluffy white thing. It was just, it, it remember just destroying me. We had to, I had to come back. I rushed home, like, literally when I got the phone call. I rushed home, thought to myself, screw studies and stuff like that. I need to um, like give this rabbit a proper burial. So we ended up burying it in the back garden and stuff like that. It was, oh my goodness, it was so sad. And, um, and so I had Moglet left. And obviously I couldn't put that much time into Moglet because obviously I was at university and stuff, so with Moogle, I, I lived in at my hometown and stuff like that, so I was able to come back and I was able to spend time with it. But with, um, I was I was studying at Middlesbrough University, which was like an hour and a half away, and so obviously I couldn't do that all the time because it would cost a lot of money and stuff. And so um, I ended up, it was really weird because um, Moogle was very confident. All my rabbits have been really, really kind. They've all been like very um, kind, caring, like really nice like animals. They haven't like tried to bite people and stuff. And um, what was really cool was that um, Moogle was very confident. And, and kind, but then you also had Moglet, who was kind, but really shy. She was always nervous. If you tried to pick her up, she would just get really scared, and it'll take ages for her to get comfortable with you and stuff. But she was all she wouldn't bite you or anything like that. If she ended up feeling like she was back to the corner and stuff, she would just kind of accept it and um, just like go, "Okay, have your way with me," <laughs> in a non-dirty way. You know, like, she'd just go, "Okay, you can pick me up," but um, she'd be obviously like shaking and stuff until you stroked her around a bit and stuff. And so um, it was really hard, like trading this rabbit. And so um, <laughs> I remember, um, I remember trying to. I, I just, I spent as much time with her as um as Moogle was as well. And so um I ended up getting really close to her as well, but um, what was really weird is that um, she ended up passing away on Monday, and it, I got this um, I got this warning from the vet saying that it's going to be like a shift in the weather because obviously in the UK when it's like summer and it's really hot, it gets really hot, and when it's winter, it gets really freaking cold, and, and it's one of those things where rabbits aren't very used to it. When there's like a shift in the wind in like the weather supposedly, it means that it can be really dangerous for them. She was perfect when I before I left, and I left her with my parents, and um, I got the phone call Monday, and, uh, said, and they said um, the day before when I left that she ended up becoming very ill like she just was like lying there and stuff like that and um, supposedly on the, the Sunday I got the phone call again and they said yeah she's just lying there with her eyes closed she's breathing and stuff and I was like oh my goodness okay get her to the vet and stuff so we're, about an hour later before they got her to the vet she passed away but I, something that kind of um it was kind of weird to me was I didn't get like massively upset I was um when when Moogle passed away I, I was like destroyed and stuff but I was kind of like I guess you could say I was kind of ready for it in, in a way I was kind of like I was used to it now because obviously I had experience once already, but um, what was really weird was when when I came back from London, I ended up um, just kind of like that. I, I realized that that responsibility that I had originally for like, looking after these little creatures had gone. I I, I didn't have that response, that thing to like to do. And I, I had you know usually you'd be doing something, you'd be doing your daily routine like your job, and then doing this like the channel and stuff. And then you'd have like you'd think, oh well, I've got to feed the rabbit and stuff and stuff like that, and I'd have to look after it and play with it. But that's gone now, and it's, so it's like um like an empty like a void inside my life, and it's really. Weird. Sorry that I've got a really like low throat. Uh, my voice is like really good because um, I've got a cold and stuff, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> That's how I cough, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it more entertaining so it being like Bleh. But um, yeah, and so, I don't know, it was really weird, so I've just spent this entire week just feeling very, very odd. I haven't been wanting to do anything creatively, so that's why there's not been any videos. I recorded so many puppeteer videos before I left, like about 12 of them, so I'm just trying to edit them all now. But I was, I was hoping to get them all, like, the puppeteer finished for this week, and hopefully we still will be able to. But I was just kind of like, I don't know, I was just kind of like not wanting to do anything. I ended up playing a lot of Gravity Rush in bed, and just playing that, and it, that kind of like, choked me up quite a bit, but I was, I felt really weird, and that was the thing, I just, I didn't want to really do anything, I ended up getting GTA on the release, and just kind of like staring at it, and just going, why, why, why do I want to play this, I just didn't want to do anything, I just wanted to be left alone, and just like, pondering my thoughts, and so I, I've kind of done that, and I just thought to myself, you know what, I need to update the minions, what's been going on, and stuff, because I've been getting messages saying, where are the freak are the hell are the videos, and so, um, that was the thing, so I was just kind of like, I just wanted to let you minions know what was being kind of going on and stuff, and so, it's really weird because, um, the hutch is, like, on the other side of the wall that I record, so she's, like, that, that hutch is outside and stuff, and it's just weird, like, in the morning, like, going to the back garden and seeing this empty hutch and, like, the toys are there and stuff, and it's just, it's just empty, like, but the last time I saw them, uh, saw Moglet, 
she was fine and stuff. She was really healthy. She was happy. She was hopping around. And then when I got back, it was it, there was just nothing there. And it's just it's a, it, it's one of these things where I'm not very good with change. I'm one of those people that I, I can't handle death very well and just like changes in my life. I just it's it's something that I, I take a lot of time to adapt and get used to things. And so it was just really weird. And so I just wanted to share that with everybody. And you know, I just wanted to know as well is is there any minions out there that has had that experience? Like they've had a pet that they've been really really close to, and it's just and they've either passed away or they've gone missing. And you how how did you how did you um face that and how did you go through that and you know um and book yourself up because i i'm fine now but it was still one of those things where this entire week i've just been kind of like uh you know and thinking well it's kind of sucky and stuff and it's just it's weird getting used to it obviously it takes time to adapt to these things and get used to them so minions thank you for listening to it. it's been like 15 minutes of me just like waffling on and stuff but i just wanted to let you know what um that side of my life i guess and one of the things that kept me like really chirpy and stuff was that i had these pets that i felt really proud of um, looking after and stuff that responsibility i was saying it was something that i was doing you know personally it, nobody else was helping me with it and stuff like that and now that's gone and so it's kind of like what what do i do now i don't think i'll ever get another rabbit again again because I don't want to go through the feeling of losing like a pet again or anything like that. I'll probably I don't know what if what the future holds to so, like pets and stuff. But the moment I know that um like rabbits are completely off the table because they, they take so much love and attention. They're kind of like cats, you know. It's like our dogs. You, if you show them loads of love, they'll show you loads of love back. But um, it's just one of those things where I don't know if I could put that much emotional investment in it again and just know that one day it's just gonna I'm just gonna I might lose them again. It's just it's really sucky as well. So but yeah, thank you for listening, minions. Um, just this is what. Was the reason why there haven't been any videos this week. I've just been kind of like moping around and stuff, and I just needed that kind of like time to like clear my head and feel a little bit better and stuff because I didn't want to be recording videos and going, okay, minions, we're playing this video and it's gonna be really good. The adventure with the scissors and the little puppets. <laughs> it's, I didn't want it to be like that, so <laughs> hopefully you, you understand now and stuff. So I'm gonna start drinking coffee because I've got this horrible cold. You can probably tell I've got like a sore throat. My voice is like <laughs> And so um, I need to get like um, a hot drink just so I can like soothe my throat. I'm like really, um, really croaky <laughs> voice. It's really bad. And so I need to get, <coughs> uh, as I said, like you can tell, it's just like really, really horrible. So I need to get a warm drink and then I'm gonna start recording again. I don't know what I'm gonna record yet, but I'll, you'll, you'll know because the videos will come up. So I'm gonna try and get some puppets out tonight and stuff like that so lots of stuff gonna be going on this week we also got GTA but anyway I'll see you guys guys means next time remember to comment section below and tell me if you've ever had that kind of relatable experience of losing a pen and stuff I would love to know because I'd love to get to know you um, guys guys means a lot more so yeah comment section below I'd love to know but anyway ciao